guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to properly store and manage your files on your computer. Now this is something I've been guilty of not doing for a large part of my life. So in today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup on my own personal computer. And we're gonna take you guys through a hierarchy structure of how we're gonna organize the files in a way that makes sense and in a way that is efficient and not cluttered. Before we dive into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what do we mean by hierarchy? So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a work folder and I'm gonna create a personal folder. Underneath each of those folders, I'm going to create subfolders of which the relevant content will go. And we're gonna keep that going. So each subfolder will have more subfolders and we're gonna keep that going until everything is in its home. So similar to kind of cleaning our home and organizing our house, I want everything to have a place where it can go and a place where it can stay. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'll start by creating two folders on my desktop. I'm gonna call these work and personal. Now another thing I wanna do here, which is gonna help me personally, I'm gonna right click and hit properties, and then I'm gonna go over to customize. I'm gonna change the folder icon. All right, so for the work, I'll actually do this camera, which is perfect. I'm a videographer. So I'll hit that, apply and okay. All right, this is my main work folder. We can kind of refer to this as level zero. This is the top folder for work. Same thing for personal. I'll go into properties, customize, and I'll change the icon to this little house. I like this little house here. Hit apply and we'll hit okay. Now there isn't a one size fits all in terms of what the absolute best way to do this is, but I have an idea of how I want to organize mine and maybe this can help you guys organize your own computer. So what are we noticing a lot of on my desktop? Well, I've got a few games here. So let's create a folder for the games. And again, these are just desktop shortcuts. These are also gonna be held in their um, root files, but Again, I want to organize everything in a way where it makes sense and I can access it easily. So I'm gonna create another new folder. We'll call it games. By no means do you have to change the icon for each of the folders. Again, I'm just, just trying to um, do this in a way that makes sense for me. All right, and then with my game folders, I'm gonna select my desktop shortcuts and I'm just gonna move those into the game folder. So we have Starfield, Cyberpunk, uh, Steam could also be in that category. Got Spore, and I believe that is all. Okay, so the games folder now will go inside of the personal folder. Let's see what else we have on our desktop, and then we'll work our way into the file explorer. All right, so we have DaVinci Resolve. This is an editing program. So I wanna make another folder, and I'm gonna call this Programs. I'll add in my icon. Again, it doesn't really matter what you choose. I'm just doing it to help on my end. All right, I'll apply this icon. All right, and here we have programs. So in my mind, programs will be used for work. So I'll be keeping that in the work folder. We also have Handbrake. This is a, a video encoding program. And let's see what else I have on the desktop. We have VMaker, a screen recording program. I'll add that in there. And I believe that's it for the desktop. And I'll go ahead and put this inside of the work folder. All right, I'm gonna do another folder for peripherals. Now this could be a toss up between the personal and work folders, but I think it makes sense to keep it in the work folder. So I'm gonna create something called peripherals. And basically any um, drivers or softwares for managing the computer, I'll keep that stuff in this peripherals folder. So I'll put my icon on it. I think I saw a USB stick in here somewhere. That would work perfect. That'll work. Hit apply, okay. All right, so here's my peripherals folder. Uh, Logitech G Hub will be one. There's more in my downloads folder and other folders, so we'll come back to that. That can go in the work folder. All right, next up we have some various videos and content. So I'll make a few folders for that. Um, go ahead and open up my work folder. And I'll just, I'm gonna start working inside of this now. So create a new folder and I'm gonna call this media and then I'll open up this folder. And for now, I think I'll just make one for each sort of category. So one of them is Indigo software related media. I'll go ahead and grab anything on my desktop that's relevant and place it in that folder. 
Now, what we can do is that anytime I'm accessing or using this data in the future, I'll be going into the folder and I might edit or even add more subfolders based on whatever is contextually appropriate. I don't really know at the moment because I'm not really, because um, I'm not using it right now, but that's kind of a way you can think about it. It's like create the general folders and then go back and um, as you're using it, you can kind of get it really detailed. So we have that um, here. I'll create another folder inside of media called stills. So anything that's a Photoshop related document for me is going to be a still. I'll go ahead and toss that in there. I'll make another folder here for another project. Okay. Drag that over. Do it again for the other stuff that's on my desktop. And then I think I'll make another one titled important documents. There goes that PDF. Okay. So I can close this. Um, I'm fine with Microsoft Edge. Well, I also have it in my taskbar. So I'll probably go ahead and drag that into the programs folder of my work folder. Now all I have on the desktop are the recycle bin, personal and work. So I'll empty this recycle bin. Don't need that. All right. Looks like we have an XML here so I can go into work media. Oh, sorry. Important documents is in the wrong folder. I'm going to drag that back to the work folder. Now I'm going to create another file explorer window here and we're going to take a look at my documents. We're going to see what we can um, organize and separate. Okay. All right. So I just created a folder inside of a folder inside of the media folder. So I did media, Indigo software, Indigo February, and then screen recordings. That's what these video documents are in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and select these and we'll drag them in. All right. So I just got all of those and I'll go ahead and go back into Indigo, Indigo software. And then I might just have like a miscellaneous folder. You'll find yourself probably using those sometimes. Anything where I'm not exactly sure where I need it right now, I'll just put it in there. Next up, Kitchen Pride. I'll go ahead and throw those videos in there. Alrighty, and then we've got more PDFs. Again, I can go back into my important documents folder. That's where I'm gonna store these PDF docs. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys with all of this, but I'm essentially gonna go all the way down through my downloads folder. And I'm just gonna organize this as I see fit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run through everything. I'll, um, I'll catch up with you guys once we're done. All right guys, so I took some time to do a little bit of organizing and I'll give you all a little tour, although I'm not gonna, again, bore you with the entire thing. I'm just gonna show you where we got to and how I'm gonna to continue to refine this for some really well put together um, storage. Okay, so I'll X out of this here. This is my desktop of which I have my frequently used applications pinned to the taskbar, okay? And then again, we've created these master folders, if you will, on my desktop. Personal doesn't have anything other than games as of yet, which is another folder containing games. Work, all right, we have important documents, logos, media, music, peripherals, programs. Peripherals and programs are gonna have all of these different softwares and uh, drivers and things like that that I need. Uh, media is gonna have any media related stuff of which I have subfolders containing videos, photos, etc. Logos and images, I, that's another folder I created, and then important documents as well. So for me, for now, this is pretty much all I need, and I'll continue to further refine this. Um, if I go back into my file explorer, for example, into the documents section, um, this I could basically go through and sort through this whole thing if I wanted to. Um, so, you know, I'll probably... <clears throat> So I'll probably end up going through all of this and putting it in the appropriate folders. I'll do the same thing with pictures, videos, media, etc. So now the key to all of this is do it as it comes in. So I really think that's the most important part to kind of get down is like as you create documents or as you download documents, that is the time to sort it. So once you've done kind of a reset like I just did, really try to do it as it comes in and that'll make your life a lot easier. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Lastly, we strongly encourage any video topic ideas that you may want for us to cover. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.